I'll leave the model on with the three key or subdivision <laughs> mode on. And let's start the rendering process. So I'm going to come up to the top here and go to Arnold. And I'm going to go to the Arnold render view. And in here, all I'm going to do is hit the little play button. That's the little button right up here in red. Click it. And it should start coming in. Takes about a second to kick in. There it goes. And everything's looking pretty good. It rendered pretty fast because the settings are pretty low and the resolution is 960 by 540. But everything, the shading network, the subdivision surfaces on this particular model is looking really good on this render. And if you want to be able to give the ability to rotate inside your render view and update in your viewport, what you can do is you can go to Window. Make sure that 3D manipulation is turned on. And all the navigation controls that you use in the viewport will update in the render view. So you can see I'm actually navigating in the render view itself. And I can rotate around the model using the navigation controls, the native ones, in the viewport in Maya. And there you go. So I'm just going to kind of position this at a good angle. And the lighting looks good. Um, looks like on the normal maps. And the, you can see, really see the detail in the roughness maps starting to show up. Let's play with the resolution. Let's up the resolution because it's looking pretty good the way it is. And then we'll also uh, play with the anti-aliasing and up the quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move this over to the side. I'm going to go up to the top here and just go to the film clapper with the gear. Clip on that, and then I'm going to go to rendering using Arnold as our renderer. I'm going to go to the common tab. Here we can set you know what format we're going to render in, so we can do like a JPEG or a ping. Here we're going to scroll down to image size. We're going to make sure we're rendering with 1080. So I'm going to go to HD and drop this menu down and find it's right in here HD 1080 so that's 1920 by 1080 you can see the render just updated with those new settings and everything else looks pretty good you want to make sure you're rendering with the the correct camera if you made more cameras make sure that's all set up go back up to the render Arnold render tab up here and here we can upper quality so the anti-aliasing for the camera let's increase to that about three diffuse so i'm going to increase that about three and specular about three and you can see this is going to take a little bit more time to render out with all these new settings let's see uh, a few more i want to get into is the ray depth drop this down and the diffuse and the specular i want to increase that another one or two settings so if you want to you're more than welcome to kind of play with settings a little bit higher i just don't want to go that high because i don't want it to take that long but if you want a better quality render just increase these just a few more levels up not don't go crazy and you should get a pretty good render out of it so once that's established um, i will close this out and then we'll just wait for just to see how our first renders coming out here so I'm gonna pause it because it's gonna take a little bit all right it just finished looks pretty good I like it it's really good quality it's pretty clean you can really see the roughness in the blade and also in the actual hilt too looks really nice now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this distracting background right here because this is not adding anything to uh, us visualizing what this blade really looks like. It's really distracting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the side. And again, if you want, you can also you know temporarily pause the render. So I can just hit the stop render so it doesn't use up your system resources as we change some settings. Now, what we want to do is... I want to make sure I select the sky dome right here 
And if I go to the attributes and I scroll all the way down, I can go to visibility and there's camera. So what I want to do is I want to move this slider down to zero. And what that will do is it will make the camera or this whole um, perspective of the light dome disappear, but it only only you're controlling the visibility of it. So it's only gonna it's only gonna hide it, but it's still the reflections and the lighting that it's providing is still gonna affect our asset inside of Maya. The other thing you might want to play with, and again, this is up to you. You can up the resolution. You're going to get a little bit better quality out of your render if you do that. But I maybe recommend maybe 2,000 or 3,000. Uh, for this particular one model, it's actually doing pretty good. So maybe 2,000. I don't have to go that high. And it's actually doing really well at 1,000. So it's kind of up to you where you want it. And then the samples, if you want a little bit better shadows, if you have shadows in the scene, which is, we don't have too much for this one. But if you did, you might want to increase that also. So maybe two or three to help with that. And then cast shadows should be turned on. With these new settings applied, I'm just going to come over here. And then I'm just going to hit that play button. And again, it will take a while. And there it goes. So I got rid of that background, but the lighting information is still there. The other thing that we want to play with is as soon as we get rid of the sky dome, it's kind of, you know, everything's black, which is really distracting. So I want to change the background color of this. So if I come over to the R view and hit this little gear, it'll pop out a display settings. I'll just drag this out. And right now we got background color. Background color is set to black. So if I click on it and then I'll just pick on something a little bit more neutral. And then hit OK, and then boom. Now it went in there and replaced that black with a nice color. And then we can take this and save this out. So we can go to File, and then say Save Image. And then you can save this in the Images directory inside of Maya. And I'll just say Dagger uh, Render V1. So that's my version one. Hit save. And there you go. And now you just saved out your render with a new background. And you're ready to turn this in as your uh, final result. To sum it all up, we made a PBR workflow, which was a physically based rendering. And then we made that in Painter, all those textures. We exported them out using that preset, which is the metal roughness. We made those maps brought them into Maya and then we used Arnold and the AI standard surface shader attached all those textures to that shader made sure that all the linear workflow or raw color space uh, settings were done made sure the alpha is luminous is turned on on particular maps and made sure the normal map was displaying correctly we went in there we set up a IBL which was a skylight attached an IBL image to it to light our scene, played with the resolution a little bit, and played and exported it out a final result. So there you go, from start to finish, how to get everything from Painter and into Maya for a final rendered result. I'll see you guys next time.